Hi there guys, my name is Ayan and you can learn making create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit this portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see that this portrait uh, is looking great. Uh, but before we start retouching uh, this amazing portrait, make sure to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and the retouching actions that I'm going to use in this uh, video tutorial. So first thing first, after you have downloaded the raw file and open in camera and you have installed the actions. So here we have our retouching kit 2024. First thing first, what we're going to do into this portrait is that we need to click here on the first step that says all in one. We click play. So here we have a bunch of layers. And first thing first, what we're going to do into this portrait uh, right now is that we need to clean the portrait. So click here on the spot healing brush tool and zoom in where we want to start cleaning the portrait and make sure that sample all layers is checked and uh, let's just get start cleaning this amazing portrait which is made and provided to us by a friend of mine victor bez a huge thanks to him for sharing with us his raw files that are really really great for uh, retouch practice so as you can see i'm just uh, gonna clean this portrait and once that i'm done i will continue with the dodge and burn So here we are with a before and after and as you can see that we have done some general cleaning and now that we are done with the clean it's time for the dodge and burn so to dodge and burn I'm gonna uh, create two windows uh, for this portrait so click here on the window click arrange and click here that says new window for the name of the file and uh, click again to the window arrange and choose two of vertical so here we have the same uh, window in two windows so uh, for the left one, I'm going to leave it in the zoom out just like this so I can see uh, where I want to dodge and burn the portrait. And the right one, I'm going to leave it for a zoom in. So I have to zoom in just like this. And here we have the dodge and burn. So I'm going to click here on the dodge and I will turn on the black and white tail player and I will start dodge and burning this portrait. So uh, first I'm going to dodge and after I'm done with the dodge I will burn the portrait so just zoom in with 100% uh, uh, of opacity and just 2% uh, of the flow I'm going to dodge uh, this portrait. So here's the before and after only of the dodge as you can see with a black and white tail player and I think that is looking okay now it's time for the burn so with the same brush and same settings I'm just going to burn the portrait and I will start uh, on the brighter So here's the before and after <clears throat> uh, with both of them with a dodge and burn. And I think that is looking okay. Now that we are done with the dodge and burn, uh, I'm just going to close the left window. And for example, we have the lipstick color here. Uh, and if I, if I want to change the lipstick color, I'm just going to paint with 100% uh, brush of opacity and 100% of the flow. Or for example, I can create a selection with a pen tool just like this right click and click here on the make selection and for the feather radius i think that i'm gonna go with two percent and i'm just going to paint it uh, entirely white with a control and delete key so uh, right now as you can see the mouth turned into red so i'm just gonna create another selection inside the mouth and i will remove the color from the from the mouth 
just like this the reason why i turned off because uh, i can see it clearly now i will make another selection with maybe four uh, pixels and uh, with a black i'm just going to delete it so here we have <clears throat> a before and after as you can see which is kind of too much but uh, for example if you want to change the ellipsic color you can just double click here and move the colors and uh, find the color for your preferences and i think that i'm going to stick uh, with this red color but uh, a kind of into dark just like this i'm gonna zoom in and here we have some highlights that we have uh, uh, painted so you have to double click here and here we have the highlights that uh, that we should divide uh, on the blending option so just click alt keyboard here this one is for the highlights as you can see when you move the slider into the left uh, as you can see the highlights will uh, show up so i'm just gonna click alt and divide them and slide this into the left until i see the highlights that are coming back just like this so here's a before and after and i think that is looking really good for example you can even uh, lower the opacity of the entire folder but i think that um, maybe with 80% will be okay so I think that they're looking really good and if you see the the lines that are too sharp for for example right now you can just double click here on the layer mask and the properties will show up and you have to increase the feather in case that uh, the lines to be like too smooth or something like that so here we have a before and after and I think that is looking really good here we have the eyeshadows that says pick a color this one is uh, for the color around the eyes for example you can uh, make two to three copies of this empty layer and uh, for example if you copy the red color and paint it over there uh, let me show you what will happen so here we have uh, some makeup around the eyes and this one is really great for example if the portrait doesn't have uh, too much makeup this one is uh, really good so in the first one i'm gonna paint it with a black brush and 100 percent of opacity maybe not 100 percent but uh, 30 70 something like that and i'm just gonna paint it here over the eyelashes to make this kind of more uh darker but uh, with uh, with that brush it was like too much so i'm gonna create uh, some kind of feather right now and let me zoom out and check a before and after and uh, i think that they're looking good but uh, once that i'm done with these shadows i'm going to add uh, some color so here's before and after and i think that is too much so i'm going to lower just a little and uh, click on the other uh, empty layer that we have created and as i said i'm gonna paint it with a red color with 10 percent of opacity and just create some uh, nice makeup shadows here or you can even leave them as they are but if you are following my step by step uh, from the beginning uh, this process is really good for the makeup artist so if you're a makeup artist and you didn't uh, make like too much makeup I mean like if you're a makeup artist obviously that you will do that but uh, if you miss some some things for example or you want to change the color this one is really easy so let's just continue with this process now check a before and after and i think that is looking okay i'm going to lower just a little and i think that it's okay now that i am done with the lipstick color uh, sorry yeah of course with the lipstick color and the eyeshadows it's time for the whiter and brighter eyes and teeth this one is really great for both of them so i'm just gonna paint on inside the eyes just like this do the same process in both of them now check it before and after which is looking good but not too much so i'm gonna lower it by 40 percent so here we have a before and after and uh, here we have the sharpness which is uh, into a black layer mask so here we have to switch it into the white so click ctrl and i and it will automatically be uh, thrown up so here we have a before and after but uh, i think that uh, 
100% of this one is kind of too much for this portrait, so I'm gonna leave it by 10%. So here we have a before and after all this entire process in the first step. And now that we are done with the first step, I'm just gonna click shift keyboard and hold it. Click here on the background, right click and click here that says merge layers. And here we have a before and after what we've done so far. I'm gonna zoom, oops, sorry. I'm gonna zoom in and check a before and after what we've done so far, which is looking okay, but we need to make some changes in the second step. I'm gonna delete the black and white health layer, click on the actions, click on the second step, click play, wait until it's done. And here we have the frequent separation. I'm gonna zoom in where I want to start uh, mixing the skin tones for this amazing portrait. And the settings uh, for this portrait right now that I'm going to use is wet by 10%, load by 45, mix by 45, and flow by 33. And I'm just going to start mixing the skin tones and everything else that I want for this portrait to look better, just like this. So here we have... <clears throat> Here we have a before and after, and I think that is looking okay. And now that I'm done with the low, uh, it's time for the high or the texture. So I'm going to zoom in where I want to uh, start cleaning the texture. And to do that, I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. I'm going to zoom in just a little more with 100% of opacity, 100% flow. And the sample should be on the current layer. I'm going to copy paste the texture of this portrait. So make sure to hold alt keyboard and just click to copy and release the alt keyboard and just paint to paste so copy and paste the texture and you have to be sure that you have to copy paste the texture as near as possible in case that texture will look more realistic because uh, for example if you copy the texture here and you paste it here as you can see the texture it will look fake so we are not into that and we want to keep the texture as realistic as possible now check it before and after all the frequency separation and uh, i think that is looking okay i'll check it before and after again and uh, i'm going to reduce it just a little of the low because i think it's kind of too much now check it before and after again, and I think that we are looking okay. Now I'm going to merge the frequency separation with the background, so just uh, select both of them, and right click, and click here on the merge layers. And now that we are done with the first and second step, it's time for the third step, the elegance look. So I'm just going to play, wait until it's done, and as you can see, again the layer mask is black, which is uh, not showing anything, so we have to switch the layer mask from black to white, just click Ctrl and I. And here we have the elegance look, which is uh, looking like too much, obviously. But uh, for example, I'm going to remove it only from the uh, shadow. So I'm just going to double click here and the blending mode uh, options will show up. So here we have the underlying layer. So I'm going to re remove, as I said, the effect only from the shadows. So I'm going to divide this one right like this into the right until uh, I see some changes. So here's the before and after and i think that is looking okay i'm going to reduce it just a little and here we have a before and after again and i think it's okay i'm going to merge both of them into a single layer and now that i'm done with the retouch it's time for some color grade i'm gonna click here on the color <clears throat> i'm gonna click here on the color grade light skin and i will choose the a10 i'm going to play it and here we have a before and after only of the color only of the color grade so here's the before and here's an after here's before and here's an after so i'm going to make just a little more changes i will add some adjustments for example the black and white i'm going to play with that and switch the blending mode from normal to luminosity and play around with the red and yellow colors so here's the before and after which is way too much so i'm gonna go by 25 percent and i will play with the yellow tones just little and uh, i'm going to reduce it like into 25 percent so click again into the selective color right now i'm gonna play with a red color 
which is affecting the lips and the face too but i'm going to reduce the opacity by 20 percent so here's the before and here's an after and one more thing that i add into a portrait is that i add the face contouring so i'm just gonna click play wait until it's done and here we have our before and after of the face contour you can double click here and you can play around with the shadows the midtones also the highlights so here we have our face contour which is way too much so i'm going to lower it by 25 percent and here we have a before and here's an after here's before and here's an after so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this uh, short video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because as i said in the beginning you will find the raw file and the retouching actions and see you guys in the next one. Peace.